Mike Savali from Fleming's back with us here on the road show. Good to see you again, buddy. Good morning, it's been nice a while. What do you got? I know you got some uh, lamb chops this morning with a, with a fancy. Um, what do you call it? A glaze? I wouldn't a... call it fancy at all. Okay. I call it simple. Right. Actually, we're going to do lamb chops with pistachio pesto. We've got a great new feature on our menu coming out called small plates. Okay. And this is going to be one of the dishes we're going to do starting in two weeks, and it's been really well received by my staff and by my guests. So we're going to come on today and show you how to make a real elegant, simple dinner with no more than probably about six ingredients out the door. How do you prepare the, the lamb? Is it uh, in the... Pan or we're gonna pan. Or? We're gonna pan sear it today and finish it in the oven. Okay. You can grill it if you like, but we're gonna show you a nice, easy way to do it. No fuss, no muss, and perfect results every time. No fuss, no muss. Simple. That's just less than ten ingredients. That's perfect for a guy like me. Otherwise, it gets way too complicated, <laughs> as you know. All right. We're not counting spices, though. No, don't count those. All right. Uh, Mike's back in a little bit with more uh, on this awesome dish he has for us this morning. You can find the recipe and ingredients online on foxprovidence.com. All right, so we're here with Fleming's again. We're making our lamb chops with pistachio, pesto, and polenta fries. We're going to get to the fries later. But, Mike, your, okay. your expertise is with the meat. Mine is with the wine. So I'm going to let you do your thing, and I'll do mine. <laughs> you know, I had heard since the first time we've worked together that yeah. you enjoy petite Syrah, so we decided to bring one along for you. Okay, it. so this is true grit petite Syrah that you brought to go... With perfectly with the lamb. It actually matches really, really well because the mineral notes in that match well with the flavors of the lamb. Awesome. And the so lamb, what do we need to do? Just cutting? Well, what we're doing right now is we're just butchering the lamb. You yeah. can buy these racks at any store. They're what's called a French rack. And we just kind of pull the meat uh, back a little bit and take some of the fat off. Okay. And we cut them into what we call lollipop chops. Right. Because after you cook them, you can eat them, pick exactly. them up, bite the bone, and they look like you're eating a lollipop. And, and I would imagine they cook faster this way, right? I mean, you've got smaller pieces. That's exactly so. it. We're yeah. going to marinate them really quick, mm -hmm. and then that way they don't get overpowered. But these go in a pan for a couple minutes, as you're going to see later. These can mm -hmm. be done to medium rare, about three, three and a half minutes. All right. Now, you said that this is part of your smaller plates menu. Correct. Are these considered an app, or would it be a smaller plate just for a it's kind of half. It's kind of halfway between appetizers yeah. and entrees. Uh -huh. You know, some people don't like huge portions. Right. Some people want a little bit more than an app. So mm -hmm. get a couple of these. You can use them for apps. You can have two or three of these with a, you know, a friend for dinner. Great. And that way you're not going crazy. All right. So we'll pour a little of this, and we'll let you get started on whatever you have to do with that. Absolutely. Only it a little, because it's early in the morning. So anyway, we'll be back with Fleming's making our wonderful lamb recipe in just a minute, and I will send things back to you. Uh-oh, we have a giggle fest in the kitchen already. It's like Anderson Cooper. It's I know, right? it's carrying over into the kitchen. Fleming's is here in a, in a serious note, on a serious note, I should say. Boy. We've got a lamb recipe that we need to work on. We need to work on All it. Right. I'm going to need help from my two favorite people. So okay. First things first, yep. I need you to take three of those lamb chops and put them in the pan. What we've done is just taken a little bit of olive oil with some fresh herbs okay. and some balsamic vinegar. And we're just going to sear them really, really quick. And you, my dear, are going to make some pesto with me now. All right. Pesto so is usually everyone says, oh, it's basil, it's this and that. We're doing our own little version of it. So in the bowl, we have cilantro. And mint. And, and some mint. garlic. So and I need a, what, a couple of these here? Two big teaspoons. There you go. That's just crushed pistachios. Yep. And then we're going to take a little bit of lemon juice. Mm hmm just like that. Okay. And then you're going to add some olive oil with it. And another two or so, so of that? Yeah. Okay. Two or three of those. You want it to come together. You can actually do three. I'll do three, yeah. It looks like Because you can always it. add, you can never take away. Okay. So and we want three. this to be a nice sort of sticky consistency. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. I might need to add a little more. What do you think? Well, let it come together a little bit. Like I said, you, okay. never, you, can, always take away, you can always add, you can never take away. All right. Probably one or two more and you should be good. You okay. want it to be nice and thick. It's like a measure twice, cut once. Exactly. So, Patrick, you can flip those. Basically, our lamb chops, and you can see real quick, they've already got color on them. Okay. Okay? That's been, what, about a minute? Not even. Not even. You're already getting some color on them. And they don't take long to cook. Again, medium rare with chops like this, you're probably talking a good solid three minutes. All this one's a little thicker than these two, so maybe right. a little longer on that one. So you leave that one in the pan okay. the longest. As you start to pull them out, you always go thinnest to thickest. Correct. And what we've also done, what I did earlier, was I made some polenta fries. Yum. They look like tater tots. Kind of. Fancy ones. Fancy ones, though. Everyone knows polenta. Everyone yep. thinks it's creamy, and yep. it is. I love polenta. You know, I put love a little mascarpone cheese in it. It's great. What people don't know is you can actually cool it, and when it cools, it actually forms a nice mass, and you can cut it into different shapes. Nice. So we cut ours into squares. They actually, in the long rectangles, they kind of almost look like French toast sticks. They yeah. do. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And we just simply bread them, and you can either deep fry them, or mm -hmm. what we did was bake them in the oven. Okay. A okay. little bit healthier, not all the oil. Let's see how you do. That looks great. Uh, thank you. That looks absolutely fantastic. All right. So what do we do with this now? We're going to start getting ready to plate, as a matter of fact. Okay. So, our small plates, which are going to be going on the menu September 21st. I love that idea, because I like to try two things. It, you know what I mean? Then you can get two different, like, small appetizers. And you don't uh, feel like you're over entrees. eight either. And yeah. you can share. Um, we've got seven small plates going on. Two with tenderloin, some lamb. Great. We've got some lobster. We've got scallops. Oh we've got shrimp. What's this start? 
September 21st. We're there. We're, th what? we're there. You're always welcome. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to plate. And I need you to take that. Mm -hmm. I want you to put a nice dollop. dollop right down on the plate like that. And you can push it, push it flat down. Oh, flat. Perfect, okay. just like that. Okay. So what I've got over here is I've got some homemade barbecue sauce. This is our F17 barbecue sauce. We're actually going to use that as a dipping sauce mm, for the pointe like fries. Mm -hmm. You can use anything you want. If you've got a favorite brand that you've got in the jar at home, if you like making them, whatever you want to do is fine with me. There's no right or wrong answer. He won't scold one. you, right? I won't scold you. Okay. I'm a big fan of Ken's barbecue sauce at home. I can assure you that much. So now you've got these nice, beautiful mm. chops, just like that. Mm -hmm. And I can feel them. Oh, that's okay. And I can tell you right now, these two are about medium rare, and that's just about medium rare. So when you want to plate this, and I'm telling you, as I've always told you before, presentations, the simpler, the better. Yep. Take that. Nice. And you're just going to put them right on top. How do you know lamb is finished as opposed to steak or like a it's chicken? Chicken you always do by temp. When it hits 155, 160 degrees, pull it out, let it sit, okay. and you're done. It just with experience, I can feel lamb. I can squeeze it or steak or anything, and I can just tell you to what level it's done. Mm. It's just with experience. Right. Yep. Is it anything you do? So this one, the last one. Gorgeous. You take it and just put it right over like that. Mm. Now that is something when you do it at home, mm -hmm. the polenta fries can be done in advance, the pesto can be done, everything can be done in advance. All you gotta do is cook the lamb chops and you're with Beautiful. your guests and done. Enjoy. That's for all of you. What else is going on at Fleming's? We got a lot going on. The small plates are great. We actually in October are going to be doing a Sam Adams beer dinner. Um, uh, I'm there for that too. When's uh, that? It's going to be October 14th. October 14th, and we're actually going to have one of the assistant brewmasters from Sam Adams down. We're oh do my a, gosh, that's a five awesome! Course, five course dinner yeah. with uh, everything with the whole shebang. It's going to be great. We've got a boys and girls club president's dinner coming up where we raise a lot of money around ten thousand dollars for the boys and girls nice. club uh, in October as well, where we've got about fifty or sixty large format wine bottles donated from vi uh, vineyards all over the country that people can go. I don't think. I'll leave Fleming's all of October. I'm glad I asked. I'm going to camp out there. It's absolutely right. incredible. We've got a lot going on. You know, it's coming into the fall. You know, we've got all our new small plates, which we're really, really excited yeah. about. That yeah, one, too. the tenderloin plate that we've got with risotto is absolutely Isn't out of this it world. an exciting time to be a chef? It's, it's the so best fun time. in the fall. Spring and fall are the best. Yeah. Spring, obviously, because the vegetables just explode yeah. and you've got all this stuff. But the fall, because I'm a homestyle kind of cook. Mm -hmm. I like the one pot, sticky cooking, big stews, throw it in a crock pot in the morning. I and love it's done this at guy. Yeah. That's what I eat at home. So, you know, right, come back throw that in, please. Yeah. yeah. I am it was great having you in please. the kitchen. Yes, great to see you. We'll, we'll all snack on these. Thank you. Means.